hello good morning or good evening to everyone today we are going to see a unix file management system so earlier in my last video we have seen about uh, the unix different flavors of a unix operating systems like uh, we understood what is unix and what is linux and what are the different uh, kinds of unix and what are the different kinds of linux uh, systems we have so this is about the file management so so when I say a file management, uh, so what is the file structure it uses in the Unix environment? Uh, coming to talk, when I talk about uh, the Windows, uh, so where you can see a, you will be seeing a different drives there, like C drive, D drive, E drive, and within the drive you call it as a folders. Within the folders you create a sub -fi files, right? And within the folders also you will have, you will creating a subfolders too. In the same way, in Unix also, uh, Unix also uses a, it uses a hierarchical file system uh, with forward slash as a root and with after slash forward slash you will be creating a directory and after the directory you will be creating a files here we are in Windows we call these directories as a folders there and here we are calling it as a directory and uh, and files will be the same okay presented in the form of directory uh, comma and subdirectories and in directories we store a file so you can see a uh, representation of a hierarchical file system it start with slash then it will have a directory within this directory we will be creating a files okay so the first one will be a root okay and then you will be having a the subdirectories it will start with the root then uh, you will have a subdirectory sorry uh, root root is the first step and then you will have a sub uh, directories within this directory you can have a subdirectories or a files okay so these are the basic uh, uh, startup startup directories and important directories i can say here so which is called as a bin dev EDC, live files, users and user directories. Now we will be seeing what are these directories. Start, let's start with the root directory. Root directory uh, is the file system. We can say root has a it's uh, starting of the file system. Okay, then bin. This directory contains all executable commands. Here what I mean to say is each directory has a specific meaning, uh, meaning and uh, these are the the basic uh, file system directories important file system directory that will be created once an operating system is uh, the unix operating system is installed right in windows also when you install the windows operating system by default it will be creating uh, it will be creating uh, uh, different directories like program files windows directory file users files and uh, many thing right when you install some any application it will go to your program files and there you can see it if you are creating a user accounts you will be created in the users directory sorry users folders there in windows operating system right in the same way each directory has a specific meaning which we are discussing now right bin it maintains all user executable files then we have dev that means it contains all the device related files what are those device files the device file can be example ram dvd usb video and so on so those, these are these related uh, device files uh, contains in this uh, slash dev file okay then we have home home directories or the files related to all the users so as i said uh, unix is a multi user operating system right so where we will be creating a multiple users can access those systems so in order to access that system administrator will be creating a separate users with provided set of passwords so those all those user information uh, user names information will be available in this home directory and like lib that means the library files provided by unix all the library files related to a unix operating system will be available in this specific library directory then etc it's a system configuration files uh, it contains all the system related files system configuration related file example it might be a sys uh, syslog file update db dot files uh, everything i mean all the configuration related files and everything uh, re related to this will go into this etc and it will have a subdirectory called 
password where it maintains each and every user's information with fields like username, password, user ID, group ID and home and so on. So in this way we have different uh, different different uh, uh, file system directories when an operating system is installed and we have sbin directory where it contains all administrator executable commands and we have an user directory uh, for a user specific information so these are the basic file system directory that we would be using okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great and a wonderful evening or day thank you so much